Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Dying Light 2. And as you can see, we are back at the save zone. And we did um, find the, uh, the brass knuckles that we needed to find. And now we are literally under our way to see if we can find even the killer. Because that is our access to the tunnel. To get to the other side to find our sister. That's where we are and how we are standing right now. Now let's see. It is for some reason a very laggy uh, game at this Peter stage. Me to find Lucas's murderer. There was an update. Help me get to the center. Not doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. <sighs> Figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else is there? Sophie, his right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless you prefer the girl. Sophie? Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. She's... you'll see. Okay. That's a thing. Um, yes, I was talking about, by the way, by the update of uh, Dying Light 2. They, um, I think, removed the Halloween bit. And there is a DLC for the game. Not that I have it, but it might be the reason why it's a little bit laggy. Um... Because, yeah, there has not been an update yet to fix some bugs inside of the game. So, apologize in front if the game will be a little bit sometimes laggy um, on the video. I need to go that way. 1.2, yeah, it's not that far. The only thing is now, I don't want to leave here yet, because if I do, Ain't no I, uh, I will. So coming to see me, right? Oh. So we're getting by a couple of gold items here. What'll it be? Ooh. Oh, okay. We have 40 gold. That's all? <laughs> That's all? Oh, God. So we only have 40 gold. So we cannot Thanks, really buy something here. You want a shop? I'm right here. Okay, what is this? Craftmaster. Okay. Ready for some shopping? And also this. Oh, but this are blueprints, isn't it? Is it? So, I want to have, like, something like this, because that are the things that I need. So, here are some craftable items. Okay. Glad you stopped to see me. So, we have in our inventory, our backpack, we got these things. We got our craft pouch. Where all the crafting shit is in going into. Um, I can craft one of those.
And we need more of the flower. That's a thing. We got some more health uh, packs, as we can say it. Yeah, I might need to go outside then, just to, uh, to run to. Now, for me, I hope this uh, goes well. Uh, boy. Um, need to get up there, so. Okay. There we go. Okay, we are at the windmill. Let's grab the map. Because I am here and I need to get to here. This is the bazaar. Okay. So that's a thing. So we want to go here. Okay. Let's get there. That scared me. He just came out of nowhere. Okay. Wait, do I need to get into the other side then? Maybe. Okay. I think so. No, 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 let's walk around. Oh, here's also a door. So yes, there are multiple ways to get in this, uh... you easy chief he ain't pk how do you know they're creeping around here all the time he's that outsider the pilgrim what? the pilgrim he's from outside yes the walls. 
Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, Pilgrim. And stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. Yes, they are. They are mine. This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring your own so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. Okay, so... And remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. So, for a change, they don't want to hang me. He didn't want to, he had just to. Just because a I have a biomarker. Of course. Okay. So that's that that, that makes absolutely sense. Preached by fools calling for reconstruction. No. There will it be doesn't. no rebuilding. The pilgrim is here. You want to talk to him? That's how they will sound. A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. Luckily, I'm and we not. we take this seriously. In your That's shoes. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Bad. And getting worse. Settlements are shrinking in size and number. I'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go. Doesn't surprise me, son. Humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again. And this is why we are here. Any more news? Not really. But uh, why don't you tell me more about your people? We are called the people of the bazaar. Simply because of where Man, we are. That's bizarre. <laughs> but who we are truly are free people. Free from lies, free from money, free from religion, wars, politics, and the dark cloud that has blanketed the earth. That sounds great. Too good to be true, in fact. Oh, we have our challenges. Water is scarce, for example. But with courage and patience, we will someday create a paradise. Well, you seem almost thankful for the collapse of civilization. So, there's no money it here. It's as tragic as it was inevitable. So, I can get Consumed. everything here for Believe free. The almighty dollar huh? after this catastrophe. That's a, so, that's a thing. We here strive Let's not to see. make the same mistake twice. It would be a crime. We want to create a new order based on social bonds. On family and community. A society where people support each other and adhere to justice. No need for the police military or false authorities to shoot those they are meant to protect. We have a place for everyone. But let's get back to your stories. Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you, then? Oh. I'm not really a fan of this metaphor. Ah, oh, yes. I see. Pilgrims are not people of metaphors or poetry. They prefer to act. Yeah, about acting. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? That's my business. Not when you're on my turf, Pilgrim. But fine. I'll humor you. Your business, whatever it may be, is not a threat to us. After all, you're just one man, and we are many. Go that way. No! You'll see a giant of a man. She is- That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. You're she still uh, one guy! And I really hope your business- You are with a angry. lot of people. Farewell, my friend. <sighs> Damn. Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. That guy cannot talk. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. 
Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Looking for a job? I only work with people I trust. You came from outside. They wanted to hang you. Nobody says anything good about you, Pilgrim. Do you want me to trust you? Talk to the people at the bazaar. See if you can gain their trust. If so, then it might persuade me to change my mind. Oh, really? <laughs> you cannot peek, my friend. <laughs> uh. Sometimes I wake up at night and forget the fall even happened. That's about the only time I smile. Then I see the goddamn UV lights. Isn't that funny? Wait, so then, if you're not selling water, how'd someone get a hold of one of your bottles? Knowing that shithead Luke, he probably stole it. That would be like him. Even if he did, my water's pure as melted snowflakes. You sure? How do you store it? I buy bottles. There's no way it could become contaminated. Not a chance. My supplier, Marco, always has clean water. So, uh, maybe it's revenge. For what? Everyone loves me. Never had an enemy in my life. Wait a second. Wait. Shit. Except maybe... Marco. That bastard. Come to think of it, he's got an axe to grind for me. It was a long time ago. Never mind. Listen. He lives above an old shop on the west end of Villador, on Hounfield Lane. I See? traded him a few kilos of my finest flour for the water. Prove he poisoned it, and half my flour is yours. Can you do that for me? I guess I could check it out. And Hell yeah! One more thing. I'm a little embarrassed. Hans might also have a bottle of this water. I thought you weren't selling it. I'm not, except, well, to Hans and... Can you go warn him? He's also on Hanfield, a few buildings down. Something's fishy about this, Julian. Look, you better be telling the truth, otherwise it'll be hard to help you. He's walking away. Found some powdered milk in the old school, hidden behind this collapsed metal cabinet. What's it matter if we can't afford water? Some folks are saying we gotta solve this water problem once and for all. You look anxious. Look, Urban, your nosy friend's back. Found a job? No luck yet. It's not about luck, kid, but about character. <laughs> like yours? Okay. Hmm. Ballsy. Okay, then. What does your hungry soul crave? Information. Someone like you must know a lot. Out of modesty, I won't deny it. And maybe a little bird told you what might have happened to Lucas? <laughs> you know, I heard the pilgrim has come to the city. Very nosy. Grills people about stuff. Gets in the <laughs> way. Sounds a lot like you. It can't be a coincidence. Sure it can. Oh, Don't yes it can. Now, you know anything about Lucas or not? Well, that kind of information is expensive. You can't afford it. I could work for it. You got any work I could do? Leave your CV with my secretary and we'll get back to you. Come on, don't fuck with me. I'm serious. You barge in here like you own the place. Takes coconut-sized balls. <sighs> okay, there <laughs> are very big balls then. <laughs> or should I say, pilgrim? Okay. I might have a small errand for a tough guy like you. Take care of it, and we'll see whether you're worth knowing. What do you need? Minor thing. Need you to check in on a guy who's late delivering my order. Been incommunicado for a few days now. Might be trying to avoid me. He usually doesn't keep me waiting. No one does. Who's the guy? Hubert. Half-assed Hubie, we call him. Met him. Lives up to his nickname. 
need you to find out what's up with him this time. Okay, I'll come back after I've spoken to him. He lives in the so that's the guy that we already talked to? Opposite the bazaar on Horseshoe. He is, uh, it, but what do you say? Getting he to is, him, uh, is a guy story. of everything. He sells, he does everything. But why? Hubert's not just a fence. He makes money where he can. And now he's hiding from half the city. He's super paranoid. Lives like a rat in a maze to keep himself safe. You'll need to climb up and find one of his secret passages to get in. I can handle it. When you're there, give him the password Sayonara. So he knows I sent you. Got it. Sayonara! So that's a password. I keep telling everyone we should be getting years of learning that all for nothing. Okay, let's track this one then. Right now let's do this one. Okay, you. Yeah, good enough. Looking for work by any chance? Uh, there we go. So it is daytime. It's just been done in daytime, so we can at least walk a little bit more underground. We need to get up there somehow. My head is killing me. There you go. Ha! Ah, you don't want to jump down. There's one. Two. <laughs> Ooh. I almost jumped down there. the music supplier. Uh, and I think it's a big giant area where we need to search for for him, so... There's not literally a door to the other side. <coughs> so that's gonna be a problem. Yeah, he is inside of this building then. to know Hubert, you here? Dodger sent me.
Find a way inside. Whoopsie. Okay, we are already back again. Okay, there's uh Now we need to find that spy guy. That Hubert guy. But where the hell is he? We know for a fact that, um... He needs to be somewhere. Ah! <laughs> 
Okay. We don't need to be there. Some items. Okay. Okay, we got that. Okay, now we can collect some items. The only problem is, is that I cannot find that guy. Sneaky ass bastard. Maybe he's even further up? I don't think. Okay. Where did we came in here? Did we came into? Hello? Here we are. Get out. I'm warning you. Get out. How'd you find my secret entrance? Oh, you you're go. Secret? It was supposed to be. You're right. Alone, <laughs> it's supposed I to be as it's supposed to be. But it doesn't. Dodger sent me. Dodger? Uh, who is. Oh. He told me to say Sayonara. Does that help? Okay, shit. You should have started there. Dodger's looking for the order you owe him. <laughs> I bet. You see that? Busted leg. That's why I don't have Dodger's order. You need help? Nah. Wait. Don't go back to him. He finds out I botched the job. I'm done around here. And what should I tell him? Don't matter. He won't give a shit. <laughs> He'll think I'm fucking him over. Hi. Can you go for me? Check out this storage area in an underground parking lot on St. Joseph Street. Cross the fence right in front of the massage parlor, enter the building, and head down the elevator shaft. Well, hey, slow down. First, what would I be looking for if I did this for you? GRE containers. According to the rumor that reached Dodger, there was a military installation here set up in the first days of the outbreak. And where there's military, there's usually a healthy stash of supplies. Uh, what kind of supplies? Don't know for sure, but usually good stuff from before the outbreak. It was only the finest for the military. Medicine, booze, whatever. <laughs> oh, no wonder Dodger wants this delivery so badly. Okay. Yep. 
Here, take these bangers and give it a try, will you? It'd be a big score for all of us, but I'm out of the running now. Literally. Okay. Yeah. We'll be I'll back, be back soon. as soon as I can. Thanks. You're saving my ass by doing this, buddy. But I'd wait till night falls to go there. Both zones are probably filled to the brim with infected right now. Well, thanks for the tip. That, ladies and gentlemen, will be for our next episode because this is already the end of this one. So if you enjoyed it, then please leave a like. Subscribe down below if you not have done that yet. And I have something else to tell you guys. I am a proud affiliated with Twitch. And uh, because of that, please follow the link in the description down below to my Twitch channel. And uh, follow over there as well. And uh, also join the Discord. The link of that will also be in the description down below. And as always, I will catch you in the next one. Okay.